I got that there. I got this in front of me too. Right. Okay. So this is the first time for me to go through it this way. Uh, let me see. I need to go. I'm going to set up a party. Hopefully, it will be able to be heard. Hopefully, it will be able to be heard. Alright, there we go. There we go. With that. much talking over top of it there's a lot of talking to go on I got the chat there or I could do it the other way right Now I'm allowing the game to play so you can hear the game and everything so you're not hearing me too much. I'll only talk when I see something that needs to be talked about. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There! Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was... nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here. 
<laughs> and you were going to get yourself worn. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We, we don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead. Mike, fill it up. I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. <laughs> Laszlo. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I. We need you strong. Okay. Come on. Let's go. They ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. I'm going to sit here and follow Dutch. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. see you back there. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? 
Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Passing you. Go on. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Hitch up here. <laughs> you did good. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party you two get yourself out of sight one lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates Arthur in that cattle shed on the left Micah get down behind that wagon in front Three people watching you. I do? Yeah. Probably Hello? just working now. Shut up, Billy. How Excuse do you see me. that? Hello. Oh. oh Hello, what? people. Hello, <laughs> friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. <laughs> 
I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Folks. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some There's a body of food in the wagon. Or something. I hear you. Just Jim. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend. Oh, now I'm down to one. It was three. Arthur, I said I'd handle this. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn, O'Driscoll boy's here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Mm. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something. Now, get your strength up for the ride back. O'Driscoll's. Don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. <laughs> Meet me out here when you're done.
Hmm. Poor bastard was married too. Let me finish searching the place. Just give me a minute. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Of here near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh.
It's okay. Easy. Yeah, okay, boy. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good! That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. Okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. There we go. Here we okay, go. Miss. They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. Can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Sadie. Her name is Sadie. What the hell? Her. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I. He. He was my husband. Ooh. Damn it, Micah. Right? Damn it, Micah. Damn it, Micah. Mike, you stupid piece of... Mm, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, I'll tell you all that right now. Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Oh, done. Lanny. Put hey, that damn gun down. Back. How'd you get on? Uh, Mike found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about... Apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. <laughs> Animals. <laughs> I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we oh, put you in a room over here. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? <laughs> get yourself to bed. <laughs> Yeah, I get a room because I'm important. All the same slider contains on uh, uh um, no. I don't want to auto save. No, well, I'm gonna just turn it off for now, and I'll save it myself later. Yes, we want to turn it off. Okay, come on, jeez. 
Oh, they, they ask too many damn questions, man. Oh, look, I got a broken damn window. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> he's strong and smart. Well, strong, at least. Arthur. Talking about John. How you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's little got himself John. caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dumb as <laughs> rusty iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a Whoa. look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. <clears throat> no. She's... We're all... <clears throat> yeah, we're pretty worried about him. Yes, I senor. know. Si, senor. The situation were reversed. <laughs> he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> And welcome to my movie, Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. I play music, but you can't listen to it. Ooh, you think a little water yeah, smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Smoke. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, they are. Well, we just shoot them. Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. Let's go. Come on, Javier. There's some tracks leading to the river. See, they continue up that way. A few hours ago, most. Where are you going? I'm following you. you. Gotta do what I'm told to do, right? You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. That must be a glacier. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Careful, that's a glacier. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Yeah. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. See. See, see, senor. Okay, Javier, which way? Right? Okay, Javier, let's go right. Yeah, 
the boy. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there, See. boy. Come on now. Almost there. <laughs> hey, look. Over there. You see that? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. That way. Come on. Up there. Somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I we'll grab that shotgun saw. from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Uh, I got a shotgun? Okay. Okay. Come on. This is how we find out how John got his scars on his face. Watch out here. Me out of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. down here. Watch yourself. It's slippery. Be careful. Try to stay up higher. Stay low under here. Okay from here. Watch Step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Yep. Gap here. Nice. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Scratch you got there. <laughs> Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> you don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> I'm freezing. 
crazy. No duh. Probably got a touch of hypothermia. Don't die just yet, cowboy. No, you still got another oh, whole buddy. game you gotta be in. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Oh. We got it going. Yeah. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? We can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure <laughs> you did. Oh. You alright? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Oh. Look up there. Well, I'm going to have to drop the boy to get him. Shoot him. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go! Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. Come here, we'll puppies. Where you at? <laughs> We're getting you out of here. Draw them off us, Arthur. Back! <laughs> Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards go up. Oh, we gotta go that way, okay. Hey, Javier. You tell me Come where to on, go. Then. Let's get back to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Just think, John, this is the man that you sent to prison. I would have let his ass go. More coming down the hill. Some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. <laughs> Man, I was a lot of damn wolf so We could have fed everybody with Try that. Try to lose the scent. Don't want to leave the trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ah, you oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. 
Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, Dutch. We weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, it can wait then. I can't pick up that book, homie. All right, let's go outside. And let's, uh, I guess we go to which one? Pier B, Pier B. Peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut or butter? My, peanut? Okay. We go to P. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. 
We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, it ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come on. Let's, let's go, Charles. <coughs> Charles, my favorite character next to Arthur here, and... You take this. What's your name? I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're not if you let me use my damn shotgun and my, uh... Give me my boat action, you ain't gonna be scared right. shit. Let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Uh, careful. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a boat right now. Oh, uh, sure. I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. It's so, good thing he's got me using it. You reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Man, all the wolves, know what he's man. talking about. Oh, watch it. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. See what we got. We gonna find some nice big deer here. I mean, two of them things will feed us for a month. So here we go back to the thing here. some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Shh, be very, very quiet. We're hunting game. Elk, deer. We're just hunting for food. Stop here a second. I see something. Hold on, let me grab the bow. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. Focus.
down there. You see him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Got it? Good shot. Now let's try for another. It's okay. Try again. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Yep, yep. Good haul, boy. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak and You've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand? Ever since we fled Blackwater, we give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But I'm not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? 
Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me to. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Jose. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! 
Just drop a devil. What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> you always want with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> hey. Hello. because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Ain't that Funny. the truth? Sure. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard! You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. My first hey, rifle, y'all. We're talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right hey, time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. I still haven't done none of the side missions yet. I might actually skip them until later. I thought I'd do some, but it's taking longer. I didn't think anything was just gonna be this long. I forgot how long this damn thing was. These chaps. What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. 
far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. And you good, the Dutch? tracks. Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. Uh, you know I got six your of back. us. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. Mm, that's when we finally <laughs> watch him die. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannah Bell, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Yeah. After we Damn right, watch him hang. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Hold up here. Hey, what are you doing? All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. And we got this covered, Arthur. Go with Dutch. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get this rifle. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. I'm slapping like the. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. I try and guard that. I was trying to do that when y'all rush me. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. <laughs> sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way. What is that? Uh... Okay, that's my the car Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. 
Yep, yep. Can I just shoot a couple of them already? Damn. follow you. I don't want to be in front of you. Mm. Oh, watch out. This bit steep. <laughs> Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. Maybe no, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Get in cover, for Arthur. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. You have to move on then. It's right now. What the hell are you doing? God damn it! All right, boys. Kill these sons of bitches. Kill every last one of these bastards. Shot. Yeah, bastard. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cone doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. Pick 
Nope. Get what we need. Clear out. I'm looting them. See how much of these damn bullets I'm getting? That's where you get all your ammo off these people. I think I got him once. Any more work? Get over here! Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! You don't have to loot everybody, but you should loot as many as you can. I'm like the guy up there. I ain't climbing up there. Crazy. Search my building, which is over here. Jump through the window. Mm -hmm. Got some tech bourbons. And anything else here? And here's where the dynamite is, but we got this thing here. Let's take this. Take the cigar. Anything else in here we need to take? Mm -hmm. Yep, there's there. the dynamite. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. <laughs> Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back <laughs> up. Let's keep moving. Leviticus Cornwall. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, 
Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get comb, but this head'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know? Hmm? Oh. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Mm -hmm. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Mm -hmm. Let's go. your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Understand that why they have to have it dark and snowy during this, and oh, the sun is them. still out. Oh, this is my buddy Come Kieran, on, he becomes our please. friend. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will oh, shut no. it. No, spoiler. Anybody who hasn't watched the story mode doesn't that, that no. Anybody who hasn't watched story mode knows what happens to Kieran. Just let me go, please. Cry. Nope. Come on, just name your price. Oh, God, please, no. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Word? okay. Not one That's more goddamn right word. Sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. <laughs> don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? 
Oh, no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to be able to get two chapters in the night. I don't know. It's going to be a little tough. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Oh, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! All right! We're moving out! Follow me! Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. after it crosses the border into the Grizzly. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny, Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, 
You head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride! It's done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Mike DeBell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Oh, he's the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. In front of it. Sounds good. What are you doing? There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa! Easy. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. 
don't need you distracting me here, Morgan. mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Right. Train should be here any minute now. No doubt. I'm not gonna beat the bite. Yeah. Includes you, Arthur. Come in my gun. Cover your face, Arthur. Good, 
Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. You ain't coming out. You got no way in here. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Come on, just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there, search that train. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, it says, Dear Leviticus, okay. thank you for the telegram and for your open. continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. Uh, However, any news you have received uh, of mismanagement or financial difficulty there. at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite That's different from the oil industry in a number Shit. of ways. A so I certainly remain open to Bonds? your business meeting at so. your convenience to Here. exchange Make ideas and to educate each other on read. our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted Railroad to host contracts, you in Annisburg and give you a blah, personal blah, tour blah, of our mine and associate the facilities. Sugar imports from the I look West forward Indies. to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald from Europe? Jameson. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Search the drawer. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. Here's a stack. Hmm. How's it looking in there? The card it says. Secret cards, okay. Inspect the card. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. This goddamn Search the cabinet. Cigar. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? No, this looks well, keep looking. 
There must be something. Come on. Let's hurry this along, boys. Boom. We got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> I ain't done looking yet. <laughs> Something else. Let's see. Just waiting on you, Arthur. And you don't wait until I'm done searching. This is what we are yet to receive your payment of two thousand dollars. Are you done there? Okay. No, I ain't done yet. Nope. I'm still looking. Let's hurry this along now. Wanna find brandy? Yeah, okay. I'm not wait, wait. Hold up. There's gotta be more here somewhere, right? Uh. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. And we're getting done on chapter one now. Hmm. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Get a move on. Nobody else there, okay. And we move forward again. Head back to camp. <laughs> and we move on to chapter two. Even though there's still a couple side missions I didn't do. I'll come back and do them another time. Mm. 
So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got <coughs> money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Here we go, music, yay! Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Break a wheel, ain't we? Hey, watch out for the rock. Get us out the stream. <sighs> Gotta keep us moving, but calm. <sighs> Not too rough there, brother. Oh. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, mm -hmm. let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservation. 
stations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, they are so funny so, together. What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, <coughs> you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay, thank you. track for a bit thanks hey slow up I'll jump on okay let's go any trouble getting in here Javier no nope. it went well this is a good spot excellent I think this will work for us Arthur for now anyway
Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has yeah. its consolations. Huh? <laughs> mm, Gentlemen. Me. I'm Chat going to here. head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. We are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> and we're on to chapter two. Huh? Finally, chapter two. <laughs> I ain't gonna finish chapter two today, but I said I'm doing some chapter one and chapter two. A couple of weeks later. Got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Uh, 
Hi, Dutch. Mr. Matthews. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Yes, you really should rest, John. I should have known you'd be sniffing around. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like me to peel you a grape. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep. Mm, wow. I got some money. Let's see. <laughs> One gold pocket watch. Gold plate buckle. Two silver buckle. Forgot about Kieran, yeah. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent feller behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Did you and Mike see me. anything I'm when you starving. rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. How is that food coming along, Mr. Pearson? You right about this place. It's a good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Good day, Mr. Morgan. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's <laughs> Well, that ain't too hard. Okay, well, let's talk more later. We'll see you later. Okay. Now we got Uncle. Let's see what Uncle wants. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? <laughs> Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. 
<laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? Take us too? Well, what you got plan? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happening to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. You ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out to the trees here, then take a left. I don't know nothing about that song. <laughs> and we come out here. I'm worried. So up. Uh Yep. Ladies, sing us a song. Oh, I'm on a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because you're too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more. This blue horse lives outside her door. I had a girl in Valentine. Likes to drink that fancy wine. Blue in her hat with two feet tall. Dragging her pants, pay for it all. <coughs> It's very serious. I thought you there. wanted to head into town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fella. Um, they go really. Go on, Arthur. Easy. Whoa, now. Whoa, now, easy, easy. Easy there. Yeah, there, you got it. Well Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> 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 or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. I tried to brain pit. Now, 
I love all of you. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What's your problem? Incredible. All right! <laughs> Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. <laughs> this is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Hmm. Let's see. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Hmm. Any beers now? Need some of that. Hmm. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Hmm. And another one of those. Oh, okay, we got some horse medicine, horse reviver. No, we don't want that. No, I can't do any of that right now. Oh, wow. No. Right, let's see. Too expensive for my taste, yeah. Thank you. Oh, he went outside. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> Yeah. 
I think I got something good. Good. Come on. I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, We're still in care. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They haven't gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Mm. Time to go beat up somebody and beat somebody's ass. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Uh, get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. All right, then. Well, man. Come Can on, I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! play him not very well you okay fine you sure yeah nothing nothing to worry about just men but stupid bastard stupid bastard was boasting about the bank the bank sure i know small town banks are usually a waste of time but this is a livestock town there's lots of cash sometimes okay keep investigating i will Ooh. I knocked his ass out. Like he's gonna have anything on him. Nothing, man. 26 cents and nothing else. Check the next room. What's in 2A? Can't get into it. Uh, what about 2C? No. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yep. After you. Lead the way. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but 
When I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Go! Get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Let this guy fall this time. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Okay. Now please pull me Question up. or kill? Please. I'm... Question. All right. Come on. Well, he saw my face in another town where I'm uh, wanted. You okay, partner? <laughs> no. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's Jimmy best Brooks. for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I kill people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. <laughs> I think we have an understanding. No, not now, not, not never. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick, not one sense in this year old mind. Right, let's take the horse back. Come on, come on. Come on, where's the dead animal? Come on. Look how run over over here. What was it? Oh, poor bird. Poor bird. Uh, uh, go to what's his name? Let's move. Let's take the horse back to town. Hey, partner. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, 
You really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Hello there. Oh, I'm here. Okay, gotta go in slow. I gotta beat that guy up. Drink up, babies! <laughs> hey! Alright, there we go. Oh, Arthur! Arthur, come here! Come here! Come over here! I want you to meet Jesus our friends. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> then we have our answer. Come <laughs> here, <laughs> 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 you. Who's next? You? What the hell's going on down here? Oh shit. I gotta I gotta knock this guy loopy. And we'll make him mentally mentally messed up. Playing normal guy here. Elbows, baby. Elbows. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! This is the guy who ends Come up end up killing me by giving me uh, That's enough. black line. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. Thomas Downs. Man. No business, sir. But please, I beg you. Friends again, I see, Arthur. Trelawney. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. <laughs> 
You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men to sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. I got a couple bucks. Hey, I got it in gold. I'm gonna ask this guy and buy pay for a bath. Welcome back. Bath. You arrange a bath? I need a wash. No, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? I already paid for it, so... Hey, why not? Sounds good. <laughs> you can just leave it to me now. <clears throat> You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. Uh, might be getting done here soon enough. If you don't mind, I ain't in much of a talking mood. Oh, I'm sorry. Just lie back then. Mm-hmm. I reckon that bit's clean enough. All right. Don't forget to wash the rest of me. <laughs> I can do that. I reckon you can wash somewhere else now. and clean now, nice clean clothes, everything.
Not again. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <laughs> okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. <coughs> the Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. <laughs> Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <sighs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, 
bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you <laughs> like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and... Well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds to the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. <laughs> here or some other flop house. Get me a newspaper here. Evening. Here, Ron's been caught swimming naked in. Dumb fool. Evening. All you need to know in the new Hanover Gazette. For Christ's sake. Were you crazy? Out of the way! What's wrong with you? A queasy feeling you've moved. been having? Think that's because there's so many O'Driscolls about. I've only got to click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. Just minding my own business. You want me to set you straight, huh? Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. Get out of here now! You want more? You see one, you see them all. Mm. Hello? Hey, don't barge me.
hours on this thing. I was removed from a party. Hold up. How was I removed from a party? I started. Huh? Eat some marrow. Here we go. over here. Well, I know what this is. Yeah, this is one of the serial killers. playing this again not tomorrow night but possibly Friday night and Saturday night and we'll see where we are from there right so I'm gonna catch y'all right here I'm gonna go right here we go to here now I want to go to save now I want to create my own new save here this one right here which will be right here that's my normal one at the top Oh, wait, I got two here? Okay. I got two. So what I will do is... Uh, no, I'm going to take it down to the bottom here. And that's going to be my new one. We're going to see it right there. I got to remember. Welcome to the new world. Here's not mine. Where is the one? There is no bliss to men and a woman right here. That's the one for us done. I got to keep that date. And I will catch you all on the next one. All right, guys. See you.